Apparently, Tears of the Kingdom has been in development for five years, and with 300 people working on it, you think it would have come out like... 30 years ago. I'm much too impatient for that, so I'm gonna be taking matters into my own hands. Uh... Who are you? Don't worry, I'm gonna be taking over from now on. The first thing you notice in these new Legend of Zelda games are the big, beautiful open maps. So that's what we're gonna tackle first. I want to finish this project in 24 hours, not only to prove that that's a reasonable time frame for AAA games, but also because I have a pretty tight schedule. So let's just open a new open world level here, and um, um, oh, why isn't this? Okay, let me try again. Yeah, green for grass. Uh. Let's go! First try! So I found this website full of ripped models from Nintendo games, so let's get my boy Link in here. Lots of the models are separated because you need to enable and disable parts like the hair when switching out different outfits. So I went ahead and downloaded Will Poulter, the hair, and the champion's tunic. Bringing those three things into Blender, it was cool to see that it was already rigged and weight painted, but I don't have the time or patience to start cleaning it up and start animating, so I turned to every beginner game developer's best friend, Mixamo. So I got the homie re-rigged up with the new Mixamo skeleton, and he was ready to roll. Let's download this new skeletal mesh and bring him into Unreal Engine. Oh yeah! Yeah. Oh yeah. Now that I know it's all working, let's get some new animations in here. Oh yeah. Let's add a jump animation as well, and at this point we're already catching up to Nintendo. Something's clearly a bit off here, my brother Link is looking a little pale around the gills, but I know exactly how to fix this. All it's going to take is a simple post-processing shader, and I'm an absolute expert. So in today's video, what we're going to be going over is creating a basic cell shading or cell shaded material. All done. Thank you, Matt Asplund. Now what was the biggest innovation of Breath of the Wild? That's right, the paragliding. Unfortunately, this website doesn't seem to have a paraglide model. But you know what it does have? Okay, cut the cameras. I gotta be real for a second. I'm starting to think that there may be a slight possibility that you cannot make a video game in 24 hours. My time is almost up. As you can see, it's very dark in my apartment. That's because it is three in the morning. And I still need to add a story to this game and quickly. But luckily, I know exactly how Tears of the Kingdom is gonna go down. Link! You've lost the Master Sword. You must find it. Hey, it's me, Thunderblight Ganon. Come here, princess. Link, save me, please. Please save me. Thank you, Link. This is my formal apology to Nintendo. It is not possible to make a AAA game in 24 hours. I'm a new man who has seen new light. A wonderful new light, and it's so bright that I've left the night, leaving everything behind, even my nightly routine. Oh, what's my nightly routine, you ask? Well, it's a video game I've been making for the past two years. It's super cool and awesome, and you should check out my video on it right here. See you all later. Thank you, Link. Come on. <laughs> Th Thank you, Link. Come on. <laughs> Thank you, Link. Come on. Let's go hit the gritty.